So you're looking to move to the Seattle area and maybe Linwood is one of those cities on your list. I often find with those of you that contact me here from YouTube, when you're moving over here and need help finding the right home and right place to live, I find a lot of people, most people are considering a lot of the suburbs outside of Seattle. And Linwood is one of those suburbs that a lot of people look into to see if it would be the right fit for them. So in this video, I'm gonna do a map tour of Linwood. I've done some map tours of cities around here in the past on my channel. This time I'm gonna jump into Linwood, give you info you should know if you're gonna live here and things to think about if it is on your list of consideration. So let's just go ahead and jump into the map here and take a look. So you can see we've got Seattle right in the middle. Linwood is actually right up here at the top of my screen. So let's go up there and check it out. In case you are somebody that's gonna be commuting. Maybe you're taking a job somewhere in Seattle or somewhere in Bellevue. A lot of people are taking jobs there and are considering living in Linwood, want to know about commute times and whatnot. Seattle to Linwood is about 15 miles. So for that commute time, if you're going when there's no traffic, you can get to and from in 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, if you're going down here to Seattle in those peak rush hour times, you're going, you know, seven, eight, nine o'clock in the morning, coming back in the evening when everybody's getting off work. That can certainly add a lot to your commute. It could be 30 minutes. It could be a little bit longer than that. Um, but there are a lot of people that live in Seattle or sorry, that live in Linwood and work in Seattle. Same thing can be said for Bellevue. If you're working in Bellevue, thinking about living in Linwood, uh, in order to make that commute from Linwood to Bellevue, there's a couple of different ways you can go depending where in Linwood you are. You can jump on I-5, just head north to where the 405 interchange is right there, and then jump on the 405 down to Bellevue. A lot of people go that way. You can take some back roads here through Mount Lake Terrace, Kenmore, and then down to 405. Um, or you can jump on I-5, and then you can jump on the 520 bridge to go over. So there are a few different ways to get from Linwood to Bellevue, and there are a number of people that make that commute. Let's zoom into Linwood a little bit here. So just so you know, for meeting home prices here in Linwood, it's going to be about 750000 right now. Now that is, what are we, late 2023, September of 2023 right now. That's the median residential home price in Linwood. So it's certainly not the most expensive city around here. You know, a lot of the other cities like Bothell down here, home, median home prices are closer to 950 uh, as you get down to Kirkland and Bellevue and Redmond down there. Of course, they are in the mid one millions, one five, one six. Um, getting down to Seattle, it's really closer to 850 to 900. So Linwood, considering the places surrounding it, isn't all that expensive, comparatively speaking. Uh, Linwood, depending where you are in Linwood, it's going to feel a bit different. There's different types of neighborhoods through here. It is very, very suburban. That's what Linwood is. Now, it is becoming a little bit more urban in some areas. And let's go over kind of some of the more popular areas in Linwood. It's one of the best places you can go for like shopping and such. Outside of Bellevue, Bellevue is one of the top places too. Linwood might be uh, might be right after that. So if we're zooming in here, we're going to go to the Alderwood area. So right here in Alderwood, you have the Alderwood Mall right here. So uh, one of the largest malls in this area. This is where I grew up going as a kid and whatnot, uh, going back to school shopping and Every once in a while, my wife will still drag me in there these days. Um, but you can see all the stores that it has. It's a pretty big mall. There's a lot of restaurants surrounding it as well. Movie theater. Um, you also have right here is where your Costco is. Your Target is right here. You've got Kohl's as well, of course. Um, there's a lot of other things. Like down here, you've got Best Buy, Nordstrom, Whole Foods, Lowe's. They're all right in here. So all of your shopping and kind of convenience things are gonna be all right in this Alderwood area. It's really built out. Now, along with this, what they've been doing over the recent years, very recently, is building a lot of apartment complex condos around here. So if you wanna live something um, that has a walkability feature to it, that you can walk to all the stores and restaurants and stuff, Alderwood is actually becoming a place that you can do that. It wasn't as much that way when I was growing up here. Uh, like I said, I grew up very close. Um, we're still not too far away and it, 
there was a couple apartment complexes kind of a little bit further out, but now they've built some right here at the Alderwood Mall. Um, so if you're looking for something urban where you can walk to stuff, walk to a bus stop, things like that, uh, Alderwood is definitely a, a spot to, to think about that. Along with that, one of the other reasons it's becoming a little bit more urban that I say is because of the light rail station that's coming in here. So the light rail is our train system here in the Seattle area. Currently, the light rail, I'll just zoom out here a little bit. So currently, the furthest stop on the light rail is Northgate, which is about right here. And it goes down south through Seattle, goes down Tukwila and takes you to SeaTac. They are expanding this light rail train system. It's going to take uh, people over to Bellevue and Redmond, and now it's coming up north as well. So coming up north, there's gonna be two stops that it's coming to. Let's zoom in a little bit here. So there's gonna be one down here in Mount Lake Terrace, but specifically in Linwood that we're talking about, there's gonna be one right about here. So if, if you're somebody that's really wanting to rely on public transportation, in a couple of years, in a few years, it's gonna be right here at the Linwood Square, you're gonna have that light rail and access to get downtown much easier with public transportation than you do now. Right now, your only option is the bus or Uber or something, um, or driving, of course, but outside of driving yourself, really right now, it's the bus. Once this light rail comes up here, it's really gonna help people get down to Linwood a bit faster uh, and a bit easier. I take the light rail, um, obviously not, not for work because I'm showing houses and, and working with my clients, but I'll take the light rail down to Seattle if we're going to a sporting event, uh, a, a football game, a baseball game, hockey, soccer, whatever, even a concert down there, different things down downtown. It's a lot easier than trying to drive and then park. Uh, in terms of time saving, it's it, you know, it makes stops. It's not a ton of time save. Um, unless there's really bad rush hour traffic, then it could be definitely a time save, which would help those commuting in the morning to work. It's an expense save too, though, uh, versus going downtown and having to pay for parking. This light rail is like $2, $2.50 each way. So that uh, kind of makes it a bit more convenient for people to use. So those main, we talked about commuting, the main thoroughfares there, I-5, like we talked about, 405 brings you to the east side um, where Bellevue is. And then you have right here what's hi called Highway 99. Now, Highway 99 was the main thoroughfare before the freeways were per put in um, back in the you know 50s and 60s and whatnot before uh, I-5 was put in. So along with uh, this Highway 99, which is Highway 99, Aurora Avenue, it's going to have a lot of your businesses along here, a lot of car dealerships. There's going to be some stores. There's going to be a lot of apartment complexes, condos, some Section 8 type stuff around here. This is where the hospital is. This is actually where I was born, right here, Swedish Edmonds. Um, so this is kind of one of your other main thoroughfare areas. So just keep that in mind uh, when you're moving over here. If you're looking for a lot of condos and apartments, you may find a bit more closer to there and the Alderwood area, like I mentioned. As you get outside of these main Linwood areas, and this is really what Linwood has to offer. Actually, let's before we talk about neighborhoods, let's come up here. Let's talk about uh, Lake. So with Linwood, you, you don't have as quite of good of water access in Linwood specifically, as you do in some of the other surrounding cities, now you're still close to everything. Um, so it's not like you don't have water access, but specifically in within the city limits of Linwood, you have Martha Lake right here. It's a small lake. You're not bringing your boat out there, but um, the kids can go out there, go swimming, uh, play at the playground, do that kind of stuff. Went there a few times when I was a kid. Um, you are really close to the sound though. So right here, Puget Sound. Um, so as you get over here, and most of these are going to be Edmonds addresses, um, you're going to have some Linwood addresses too, um, but you're right on the Puget Sound. So in terms of that, that access to waterfront, it's really close still. You have parks like the Meadowdale Beach Park over here, um, which is great. Um, you have the, the Overlook Park right there, and then you can get down to, to Edmonds, to Marina Park, and, and all the stuff downtown there. So all of that is really close. So when it comes to like recreation, things to do, extracurricular activities, things for the kids, whether they're little kids or in high school and they're involved in activities. Linwood is a, a super central location. It's easy to get to and from everything you need. You don't have to drive long distances. 
you can, like I said, with public transportation, especially the light rail coming, that'll make it easier for some stuff downtown. You're close to the freeways, all the shopping, uh, sports clubs, and all that stuff. There's a lot of it in Linwood. Um, so that's the benefit to it. It doesn't provide kind of that rural feeling. Some people will come over here and they want a bit more of a rural setting, a, a quieter, bigger lot sizes, uh, maybe some acreage, really treed neighborhoods. Um, it doesn't give as much of that as some of the other neighborhoods on further east, um, but it is very, very suburban in the neighborhoods. And there's still good neighborhoods around here, not to say there's not good neighborhoods. There's certainly good neighborhoods, great places to live, um, but it's not. you're not going to get like that rural or semi-rural feeling. You're going to have a very suburban feeling for the most part here. As we zoom in to the west side of, of Linwood, I mentioned here, this is where it merges into Edmonds. Um, so you've got a lot of neighborhoods in here. Some of them could have Puget Sound views, depending on where you are in these neighborhoods, like along Olympic View Drive through here. Some of these will be Linwood addresses, some of them Edmonds, um, but, uh, but you will have some nice neighborhoods with potentially some view homes through there. As we move over further to the east side, through here, these are all neighborhoods through here. You can see Linwood merges with Mount Lake Terrace, Briar, Bothell, all the cities surrounding it. Um, but there's a lot of neighborhoods through here as well. And then as you get further north, like I mentioned in the Martha Lake area over here, Larch Way, and then um, north northwest Linwood up here as well. There's neighborhoods. So there's a lot of different sections, and each section is going to give you a little bit different of a feel. So I think it's really important for those that are considering these areas, or specifically Linwood, to check out all these different neighborhoods, all these different spots of Linwood, uh, to give you a good feel of, of what you might like. Because different people prefer different things, and I know some people that like to avoid certain neighborhoods in Linwood and some people that love certain places. Um, but there is, like I said, there is a lot to offer here in the Linwood area. All right, well, this wraps up my video of Linwood. Like I always say, I'm an active real estate agent here in the Seattle area. So if you're moving over here or you already live here and you're thinking about purchasing a home, be happy to help you out with that process. Thanks for watching this one. I'll see you on the next video.